Articles of impeachment for Justice Clarence Thomas and articles of impeachment for Justice Samuel Alito have just been filed in the United States House of Representatives. Now, I actually told you this was coming in this video last week, and today, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a Democrat from New York, made good on her promise. She said today that filing these articles of impeachment was necessary because both justices have shown an egregious pattern of unethical behavior. Now, as I told you in that video last week, the Constitution does give the House of Representatives the sole power to impeach a government official including Supreme Court justices for high crimes and misdemeanors. So today, AOC, along with eight other House Democrats, filed three articles of impeachment against Justice Thomas and two articles of impeachment against Justice Alito. So I'm going to go through each of them. The articles against Justice Thomas include failure to disclose financial income, gifts and reimbursements, property interests, liabilities and transactions, among other information. Refusal to recuse from matters concerning his spouse's legal interests in cases before the court, and refusal to recuse from matters involving his spouse's financial interest in cases before the court. The articles detail the years of gifts of significant value the justice and his wife Ginny have received from conservative megadonor Harlan Crow, and raises conflict of interest charges because Justice Thomas participated in several cases where briefs were filed by an organization in in which Crow sat on the board of directors. The articles say Justice Thomas regularly adopted that organization's position in his rulings. The articles also allege Justice Thomas participated in and decided on numerous cases concerning entities that his wife had a financial interest in. As for Justice Alito, the two articles against him include refusal to recuse from cases in which he had a personal bias or prejudice concerning a party in cases before the court, and failure to disclose financial income, gifts and reimbursements, property, interests, liabilities and transactions, among other information. The articles say because of not only the upside down American flag, but also other controversial flags that have been seen flying from his home for years, Alito displays a lack of impartiality as required by his judicial oath of office. And according to the articles, since Justice Alito can't be impartial, he should have recused himself from several January 6th and Trump-related cases, which he obviously did not. The articles also say Alito has engaged in a pattern of corrupt conduct for accepting and not disclosing luxury travel from wealthy individuals with interests before the court. Now, as I told you in that video last week, in order to impeach either of these justices, there must be a simple majority House vote. That is highly unlikely since Democrats are not the majority party. There is absolutely no way the Republicans will let these articles pass. But if there was some miracle, and they did, the Senate would have to hold a trial for both of these justices, and two-thirds of the Senate must vote yes in order for the justices to be convicted of impeachment. So if you want to read these articles for yourself, I will email them out to you tonight in my Newsgirl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.